You ain't been to Miami. You been on South Beach. They don't like Miami niggas on South Beach. Miami is Overtown, Coconut Grove, Liberty City, Opalaka, Care City, Wynwood, Hialeah, North Miami Beach, Richmond Heights, South Miami, Goose, Perrine, Cutleria, Naranja, Homestead, Florida City. That's Miami. Miami niggas ride candy paints. We, we call them donks. The donks is the bubble Chevys. Two those or four those. We wear dreads in Miami. Dookie dreads. Where it's matted up, locked up. One of them bitches might be way over here somewhere. Miami niggas, we wear the gold teeth. They don't come out. These is permanent. Miami niggas talk slow, real disrespectful, and slick. Miami niggas go get us a hustlers. We say everything from hoes to mangoes. And everything for sale. You know it's bad, you know. Jake, when we was coming up, we was educated, huh? Because we got a cut ass, huh? All right. Get, get your education, start walking around being dumb. All right, a bull in their hand, crack cocaine, and a, uh, a pot cigarette reefer. And they dead, they like a zombie. Oh, the neighborhood changed tremendously. Can I have y'all attention? For these next few minutes, I'm gonna need y'all to listen. My hood ain't the same. Something smell fishy. No bacon and egg shit. I'm good with these biscuits. I woke up like five in the morning with shit on my mind. Living in this cruel world makes me wonder sometimes. From sunshine to rainstorms, come thunder sometimes. I put my heart and my soul in each one of my lines. From project to projects, hood to all hoods. These crackers taking over, it's clear to be understood. Speaking of political, record label don't think I should. I'd free all of my niggas out the pen if I could. This was necessary. My name YD the Dade County Sass. I'm from Overtown, from right around this neighborhood right here where we at. 25 years I've been Overtown, man. I grew up around here. I got to see a lot of people make it out of here. Got to see a lot of people didn't make it out of here. A lot of tragedies. A lot of people seen on a and &E, seen the seen the little footage that they seen, but they ain't really get to see block to block. It's, it's really it's really crazy out here. She got three, four different baby daddies. One more when she might need more. The performance went through what I went through. When I'm only one to tell a story. Maintain. Remember the good times, you know. A kid actually, you know, wanting to, just like just wanting to grow up to be somebody in life, you know. Now, now it's, it's not really like that, you know. As, as time went on. It kind of changed, like the mindset of kids growing up. Late '90s, a lot of people was indicted over town. You know, a lot of a lot of father figures, a lot of role models that was around here, that really meant something to our community. Went to jail, you know, and you know they they did a lot for the communities. The toy drives, you know, the Vondas, the 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 Bunky Browns, you know, they did a lot for our community. So when those type of people went to jail, it like kind of changed because we didn't have those people to look up to and depend on them for Christmases. <laughs> Nigga for real, nigga, guess what? Lying, nigga, guess what? But I ain't no dead, nigga, guess what? Alright, peace to the Z, but guess what? I keep getting up. Showtime, right now. Just became a ghost town, man, after several years. This was necessary. Fuck a job, nigga. My grandma ain't no secretary. Tell me why Black History Month only in February. It's getting very scary. The white man got a plan. How none of my people ain't legendary? Martin had a dream. Malcolm X had a vision. They scared of our black power, trying to keep us in prison. Shit, look how we living. Roaches all in my kitchen. I ain't flipping no burgers and I ain't washing no dishes. I know a lot of homeboys, they never left Overtown in their life. So when I go to other cities and I get that love, I love to come back and tell them stories and tell them how the fans embrace the part of where they from. Like, you know, I'm, I'm giving them real Overtown stories, real Overtown history.
This Swamp City project right here, man. Over here, the sticks got killed right here, man. There were three bodies on top of each other. That dress though right there. Lost my homie here in the sticks right there. Right down 8th Street, right here. What happened? Drive by, man. Drive by Lost Live. Rest in peace to them homies though, you know what I'm saying? They go on every day around. Damn near every day around here. I did get a chance to see a lot of things, but I saw so much and I heard those stories and I, and I, and I got a chance to embrace a lot of that growing up here, man. So, oh, everything, I love everything about Overtown, man. It taught me how to be everything I am today. Yeah, I grew up in the neighborhood. I've been right here, man, 25 years, man. A lot of people dead and gone, man. A lot of people really dead and gone out here, man. A lot of people lost their lives out here, trying to get money out here, trying to, trying to survive out here. I don't know what year it was, but we was, I was a jit. He probably was still a little seed. Probably wasn't even a nut yet, but at the end of the day, you know, it was in McDuffie riot. Police killed the black brother that was doing major things for the community, an activist. And you know, the city went crazy. One memory of McDuffie Ride I, I, I can remember when the man had a lady head on the stick. I remember everything burning and everything on fire. I remember a lot of people moving. I realized, Rodney, we were tearing up our own shit. We tore up our own shit. And every, we thought we had brand new furniture in the project. We had brand new clothes and food that couldn't even fit in the refrigerator. Man, a motherfucker came through there and took all their furniture back. It was police riding up and down the hallways on motorcycles, you know, hitting blacks. Blacks, we fighting the police, uh, fighting the other kids in there, mostly uh, the Cuban kids, uh, fighting the white kids. I mean, it was just straight riots for the first uh, couple years uh, in school. I mean, anything would pop off a riot, you know, in the actual school. So it was a big old territorial thing. It was a lot of what was happening in the schools. It was a reflection of what was happening in government and on the streets. They tearing up our projects and moving people out. A lot of people go to South Beach, they don't see that. They don't come to Overtown, come across the bridge and see what's going on in our community, you know, from in Overtown. You got my homie Fro died right here, you know what I'm saying, 2CT. You know what I'm saying, teddy bears right there. A lot of teddy bears. Second court. One word to describe Overtown right now. I got two words, fucked up, <laughs> straight up. Niggas get shot, there's hella talent out here. Niggas ain't working together, niggas ain't collabing. Niggas ain't trying to get on one accord, that's what make it fucked up. I do music from the soul, I do music from, from the heart, from what I see and what I go through and, and the pain, the struggle. I like to relate to the people that's going, that got them food stamp cards, that's, that's budgeting with that $180. The people that can't afford to buy Fendi every day. I have to go back home and, 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 and sleep while I sleep and rest while I rest and ride my nice little car that I got, my nice 96 Chevy Impala. It ain't got no rims on it, but it's mine, it's clean. You know, so go own some properties, go own some land, man. Go come together as, as a community and black people, man, and let's own things, let's, let's become one. And let's become a strong nation, man, as black. You know what I'm saying? Because that's that's all I know. I don't know no white Jesus with no blue eyes. You know what I'm saying? I'm just being 1,000. This soul food takes the seasoning in that chicken. This rice and cornbread from my brothers in Mississippi. Collard greens and cabbage. Sweet potatoes and stuffing. Side order of letters, I roll it up in these dutches. I'm lucky, but I can't get no money if I ain't hustling. Penitentiary chances I'm taking is getting rougher. No bread, no mustard. I say this prayer with no cussing. All these man-made laws and we still ain't got no justice. Damn, all this struggling. She ain't clothes with my cousin. Can't afford a new car, so I'm forced to ride on these buses. My shoes scuffed up, I'm a madman to the public. Young men is like dinners, I'm always in some trouble. Who's that peeping in the window? Pow! In order to build Myra Beach, we had to have an ID card. 
if you didn't work there or have any business over there, you should, you know, you shouldn't be over there. The police would, you know, stop you. We want to know what you're doing over there or why are you over there and everything like that. See, South Beach was, wasn't built up like it is now and everything, uh, all the entertainment that they have over there and everything. Yeah, it was limited, but we knew where to go and where not to go. All these privileges that the younger people have now as far as South Beach and all that, it was a, uh, it wasn't, we didn't have that. We, we could do what they do, you know. Mostly the big stars that came down came down to Miami to entertain at the hotels, those big hotels like James Brown and all them. They could entertain there, but they couldn't sleep over there. They had to come back over here because at the time we had hotels, we had hotels over here for, you know, blacks and everything like that. Plus we had our own uh, area that had clubs and everything. So they were limited to just entertaining over there, but they couldn't sleep over there. 2002 and shit, little hood beef that was going on and whatever, whatnot, between two little sets, you know, two little factions or whatever the case may be. My dog got caught up, man, he was 19 years old. That was my big homie too, you know what I'm saying? I was a shorty at the time, I was like 15 years old when he died. And my nigga, you know what I'm saying, his old girl said he left the house and he never came back that night. We all heard the shots too, as a matter of fact. We heard the 30 shots ringing out on the block and nobody ain't thinking on about it. Ain't nobody was on no gunplay at the time in the hood. But you know, yeah, this is where my nigga pretty much right here. He still, he still see the, uh, the holes on the ground and shit. And it's like fucking 12 years ago this shit happened, my nigga, you know what I'm saying? That's from niggas standing on top of this nigga like this, you know what I'm saying? They done hit the motherfucking house over here. You know, like two or three bullets went over there, you know what I'm saying? They did pretty much fuck my dog up. You know what I'm saying? Police came and found them. They were fucked up, you know what I'm saying? That shit was, you know. But that's the hood though, man. The hood is the hood, man. That was over 12 years ago, man. That started all that bullshit, like, niggas really getting into that shit right there, really getting busy. in this neighborhood, shit, we ain't have, I mean, the houses look nice over here and all that, but we ain't have shit. We ain't have all that internet and computer shit that they have today. Back then, you nigga ain't even have cable. We stole cable and everybody went to that one nigga crib who had cable. You know, I ain't proud to say that I did that, but fuck it, I did it. I went and stole my first computer because I wanted one. You imagine you being born here and you feeling like I'm American too. I mean, my parents Haitian and I'm Haitian of Haitian descent. I speak Creole and all that, but I'm American too. Like, what the fuck? Like, why can't I have the same shit you got? Why can't I be on the same plateau on you? Like, what the fuck make me any different from you? We're in the trap house right now. You, know, you feel me, shit? Hey, hey, listen, man, I'm finna get up out of here, man. The boy's about to show y'all what it is. I'm getting up out of here, I don't know what's going on. I don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. That's how we play around here, <laughs> Miami, you know what I'm saying? Should get hectic, but not too hectic, but you know what I'm saying, just in case it do, you know what I'm saying? Cheese, you feel me? <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying, it's all it's done. <laughs> <laughs> niggas do whatever they want in Miami, man. You get your fucking head blown off. You know nigga might respect you all over the hood. You might be that nigga. You still get your head blown off. Ain't nothing. Anybody can get it down here. Anybody. Ain't nobody safe. Five shots came through this window right here. These three here, yeah, that. This one right here. You nigga shot that shit out with a yabba or something like that. You know, pussy niggas know I wasn't here when they did that shit. You know what I'm saying? You know how that shit go. Down here in Miami, nigga chase your ass down, nigga coming for you, you know what I mean? <laughs> this shit get real. 
My stash brought with tons, nigga, my young niggas got guns. Nigga, my slot is coming in one minute, my young niggas got young niggas. The bullets coming through 3D, no fuck niggas gonna feed me. And I just caught my first body, that same niggas on TV. <laughs> A lot of these kids don't even know who Martin Luther King is, man. I know who Martin Luther King is or was by the time I was five years old. I had one kid tell me, like, I'm like, yo, who's Martin Luther King? Like, oh, um, uh, he went to sleep and had a dream. I'm like, come on, man, you can't be serious. But shit fucked up, man. We trying to go with your music. It's rocking them shows. It's sitting up. Nigga, when I say dread, you say skeezy. Dread, skeezy. That energy right there, you can't buy that. Like, musicians from back in the day and all that, and like when they like really stopped singing or going on tour and then they, they, they die of old age, like that was what was keeping them alive. Or remember, um, God bless the dead. The coach that, that got fired, Joe Paterno, he died, like what, a month later or some shit like that? After that day he had to leave from, and this motherfucker walking down the field looking like he about to die. Fuck it, he back year after year. Soon as he left, he died. That's what keep us, you know, for me, music keep me alive. The other, the other day I was, two, two young boys was, was in there that came to buy a soda and something like that. And they were talking, you know, and they're talking to man, man, I, I don't I, I don't have to go to school and make no money, man. I could I could do like my like them guys right on the corner do this. I could stand up on the corner and make me some money and everything. And I, I just shook my head. These are young these are young fellas coming up and they notice all this was going on now and everything. So hey, they feel as though they don't need no education to, to make no money. Obalaga, they call it Chabalaga, that's what we know from AK-47, man, Chabal, man. God bless the dead, my dog, they both died right here where we standing at right now. Yeah. This is one. You want to sit down? This one. Check him out. Five shooters, get that money. Dice game. Homeboys killing homeboys by that money. I might be a millionaire, you feel me, fool? Might be a thousand now. You want to be a millionaire, you got to come take that. About that money. That's it. Once you come across that bridge, like everything changed. They ain't seeing this shit over here. This shit like we we in a black shadow over here, man. We in the corner, man. Everybody here about Miami, they think South Beach, but they don't really come to Miami, you feel me? This really Miami right here. And this used to be a, just a little dirt road right here, you know. And we used to be out here playing and carrying on. There used to be a lot of killing right here, but it stopped, you know. Everybody trying to get along right now, but every now and then you have a, a little, you know, the younger guys don't know nothing, so they come through here and they do a lot, you know. They parents need to get them in the church, you know. But it starts from the head, you know. Start from the household. If they can start pulling up their pants and, you know, dress, dress proper, you could do something with them, the ones that you could catch. But the ones who are lost, you still got to pray for them and try to get them, you know, to go to church. What did you get locked up with? Um, carjacking, possession of firearm, two armed robbers. I was facing 15 year, 10 year mandatory. Damn, <laughs> this shit fucked up, like, the streets, the streets don't love a nigga. The streets fuck a nigga up, that was my mind state. So I like shit, when a when nigga get home, Nigga gotta change the streets, you feel me? But first, you nigga gotta change they self. So while I was in there, I started writing. That shit gave a nigga relief. Like, like anything that I felt at the time, you feel me? I'd write that shit down and like, like a poem, you feel me? Like poetry. But then you start spitting and you put a little, like, a little beat to it in your head, bro. You like, you feel me? You just express yourself through the words. And I sit there and I let my monkey hit. We'll be nine, he'll be like, man, that shit hot, man. When you get out, man, you need to handle that shit, you feel me? So I ended up doing like almost two years or whatever. Man, you got one life to live. Love, live, loyalty, everything, man. Everything about the L, man. 2100, that's our block, that's all it. Everything around right here, 2100. Nigga seen a lot of shit, nigga lost a lot of homeboys, you feel me? Recipes, Willow, Lil Vonte, Stats, Pooh. A lot of niggas, we lost a lot of niggas along the way, you feel me? I'm 23. That's love, like, niggas ain't seeing 16, 17, 15, so I'm blessed. If I wouldn't have went to jail, I probably wouldn't have been doing this right here, you feel me? Yeah, yeah. Well, 
fuck with anybody, man. No new nigga, same nigga. One life. That one life we live by, we live by. And we don't fuck with anybody. We smoked up and we pop molly. These niggas hating these bitches like this. That one life we live by, we live by. And we don't fuck with anybody. We smoke dope and we pop molly. These niggas hating these bitches like this. That one life I live by, I live by. And my young niggas kill anybody. Kill anybody. And my little sister came down for Cardi. And she got home and we smoke this Zardy. And every day I'm dope boy. I'm dope boy. My old boy was a dope boy. Was a dope boy. So all I know is that coke boy. That coke boy. I whip it up and make more boy. Make more boy. My swagger right in my game tight. My game tight. I'm fucking bitches on the first night. On the first night. I don't double back if it ain't right, if it ain't right. I don't double back if it ain't right. That one life we live by, we live by. And we don't fuck with anybody. We smoke dope and we pop molly. These niggas hating these bitches like this. That one life we live by, we live by. And we don't fuck with anybody. We smoke dope and we pop molly. These niggas hating these bitches like this. That one life we live by, we live by. And we don't fuck with anybody. We smoke dope and we pop molly. These niggas hating these bitches like this. You know about Dr. Martin Luther King. I know all blacks know about him. Because uh, if they don't, they're idiots. So anyway, they teach everything in school for other race of people, but they don't teach you your black history. They might tell you about uh, Booker Teller, Booker Teller, Fred Washington, Bethune Cookman, or something like that, or uh, Frederick Douglass, but they don't tell you about the struggle. Have you ever heard that old saying, history repeats itself? That's what's happening now. Checking the niggas on the block, cause I'm trying to stack my grip. Dollar signs find me like the motherfucking owner. Caught a couple niggas shaking dice on the corner. Crept up quick with my young nigga Nick. Stop the bank, close shop, made them niggas get a fix. We really went through some crazy things before we knew that we could rap. I just recently lost a brother like two days ago, you feel me? My brother um, got killed by cops. Posted on the block selling dubs, smoking my lungs out, trying to get the buzz. Dip to the bricks to come up on the pistol. Know we riding dirty, but them niggas playing foul. Time to run down since a nigga wanna talk. Now they sending shots and they wait to see the body drop. Carol City is like where all the legends came out. You feel me? Besides the city, besides Trick Daddy and Trina, and you know what I'm saying, JT Money, all them boys who said the bar, you know, you had niggas like Ross, Low Rider, and shit that gave niggas like us hope, you feel me, that we can make it out this shit. But they don't fuck with us like that, you feel me? Like certain people, I can say that fuck with us. But like, at the same time, we still like, we don't ask them for shit. They catching strays, ain't got no time for no local, no buster. If a nigga run the best, believe I'm a bust ya. And I'm still hanging with the same niggas round me. And I'm found dead by the founding Empire State rounds. Bitch, I'm laying game for my niggas, sir, bound. Niggas dropping names, so my niggas lay them down. From the town of the motherfucking funk, what you want? My niggas from the south came in to regulate. Niggas know they better hate. Fuck that nigga, smoke a sack and I pour a eight, now I'm leaning. Dirty Sprite got me fiending. Came through with the crew, now I'm on the proof. Know how I do, nigga, know I'm from the foe. Can't knock the hustle, all my niggas from the blow. I learned in life, you get out what you put in. We stay on the grind, cause we love the hustle.
Ice Billion Bird from motherfucking Dade County, 305. I was born in Liberty City on 71st and 18th. Played football in Liberty City. I ain't like that sport shit. Niggas who I looked up to only betted on the athletes, you know what I mean? Pulling ACLs and shit, I'd rather drive donks and smoke good dope, you know what I mean? Miami niggas ride they shit low. But niggas from Broward and, and Elf places, they drive they donks high, stacked up and shit like that, high in the air shit. Look like you could tilt over if you turn the wheel. My shit kind of squatted lower because that's all I remember what Miami niggas did. I used to see Trick riding in his shit, coming out the flea market, just his shit riding low. So I don't know, it's just like that Chevy shit. It's just a Miami thing that's really kind of unexplainable. This shit just a part of me. This is what you call cump right here, right, right one, man, man. They come out of shell. That shit you get what I'm saying? This is what we fuck with. This, this, this shit right here keep that dick up. When you trying to get you some Sean, when you finna shindig with a bitch, this was gonna keep that dick up. A uh, Sean, a uh, Sean is somebody, uh oh. You, a Sean is like a slider. Like, you know what I'm saying? A bitch you just knocking down. She ain't your girl. Ain't no fucking relationship. All y'all doing is sliding and fucking. You know what I'm saying? That's your show. And shindigging, we don't party, we shindig. So when we shindigging, it's you shindigging is what you do when you showing it. You got you a bitch, slide off, go get the whole drunk, have a good time with the whole go knock it down. That's shindigging. We shindigging, baby. Y'all good for the cup? Keep your dick up. Want to get some show? It was a time when Tupac, Biggie, R. Kelly, Dion, who when you was big somewhere, you came to Miami, you went to the hoods, you went to the spots, the strip club, and all that. They got the new game, man. They they done they got these sucker ass flies that nigga. They put a sparkle on the bottle, light it up, hold it up in the air, walk through the club, all the thirsty assholes follow the bottle, and the niggas look around. I tell them, oh, them niggas don't even want y'all, man. Them niggas go together. This is how we heat up a, a, a local record. We'll take a say we'll take a rich homie. We know everybody will turn up. Then we'll take our man, mix, mix a Miami song with it. Keep the vibe the same. People might not know the song, but they the vibe, their head's still shaking because they still shaking from rich homie. And they go from rich homie to a, a local, from a local to a Ross. And they and you never know that you are just rocking to a, a, a Miami song. So it's kind of like being a basketball player. Make everybody go crazy. Then you get the new dude, nobody don't really know. They don't go super crazy. It's just like, okay, then when they come back, they make them go crazy. Until the new dude become the LeBron, that's what we do. We just shape the new dude into the LeBron. And what we use, we use the hits, the, the piggyback off the record. So if I play a hit and you like it, then I come back with something you don't know, but it's still sounding like it's the other hit, and then I bring another hit back, you will never lose your vibe. The strip clubs in Miami will play Miami music because individuals, because those majority of those DJs come from Miami. You know, they're not considered commercial DJs. I mean, when we think of South Beach, that's like commercial. That ain't us. You know, you ain't, you ain't getting the full vibe of Miami. That's why people hate it with a passion. Natives in Miami, when LeBron James say, Oh yeah, I'm coming to South Beach. They hate it with passion, you know, because that ain't us. You are representing only one one uh, segment of this community, which ain't us. We ain't we ain't Black Miami. So those strip clubs play a major role. I will go to strip club, not necessarily be interested in, in the girls. I'm just vibing to the music, finding out what's new and what's happening on the streets. think niggas realize that Miami niggas only came every 10 years. I think Uncle Luke came out 87, 88, somewhere, somewhere around the time I was born, 25 years ago. Next time a nigga came out, you had Trick Daddy Dollars came out 96. The next time a nigga came out, you had Rick Ross came out in 2007. So the next time, I guess, the way it's looking from the stats, a nigga do 2016. So that's another two years. Hopefully that nigga be me. But Miami ain't only pumped out niggas every 10 years. And it's sad to say, but it's true. We ain't really got that, um, that presence in the industry like that. 
We don't have no mainstream radio supporting us. We don't have no, we don't have no mainstream club supporting us. Nigga, the biggest club in Miami is Club Live. Them nigga don't play Miami music. I walk in that motherfucker, I'm a customer. And I might pay more than what another nigga pay from out of town because he in this bitch every weekend. You know what I mean? A nigga, a customer. When it come to 99 Gems, niggas look us at customers, all the radio stations. We customers. We ain't, we ain't artists. Y'all niggas, they don't even play trick music on the radio no more. They comparing us to the, the fucking billionaires of South Beach, thinking we supposed to do what they doing. Nigga, we ain't on their salary. And nigga asks, why you like Take One so much? I say, nigga, because that's the mecca of Miami music. What the fuck you want me to do a night at Club Live when a nigga can't even get in Club Live? This where you from. What the fuck is you glorifying if you ain't glorifying your hometown? How you don't embrace Miami shit? Why you not putting that on the big scale? How y'all niggas forget about that? Everybody was running in New York trying to sound like New York, look like New York, shoot the videos in New York. And, you know, my thing always, hey, I'm gonna be true to where I'm from. You know, hey, look, nobody, you know, everybody was doing that at that time, videos, break dancing and all that. No, we are sun, fun, beaches, pretty girls, all that. We're going to show that. There ain't no way you from Miami and, and it's 80 degrees and you got no motherfucking fur coat. Ain't, ain't, ain't no way you got no fake ass diamonds on, nigga. You tripping. We ain't about that. Be you. Once you be you, we have to accept you. I, I, I don't have no beef with Millie Vanilli. I accepted them niggas. They was already fruity looking. They had weave in their hair. Why am I going to get mad because I find out they lip syncing? I accepted this nigga. That's Miami music. Don't be scared to do bass music. Don't be scared to do club music. We don't have, my music don't have no identity no more. It's the music that's getting played and the music that hey, ain't no other kind of music. Revenue and raisins. And if the station ain't making no money, it don't matter what you want to hear, really. There's a lot more than, than just playing music. And I think a lot of people don't understand that part of the radio. There's a lot of records that I play like in the streets that I would never touch on the radio because I understand again <clears throat> it's all revenue and ratings. Like I, I know and the way the rating system is now it's all the way <laughs> fucked up. Like bad. Like bad bad bad. See before you used to people send you little things in the mail and you know you fill out this little survey and all that they give you five dollars to do it. They don't do that no more. They have these little meters now and all it does is pick up signals. And we could be listening to the wackest radio station in the world, but that signal box says that's what you like and that's what you listen to. So if I play a song that maybe I know about, but you don't, what do you think you're going to do? You're going to turn the station, right? I guess what that means. My ratings just drop. <laughs> you understand what I'm saying? It's, it's, a whole, it's a whole science to the whole thing. So it may not mean that we don't want to support your music. Again, it's about revenue and ratings. When the music game came out, we wasn't we wasn't too cool to dance. We had to dance to every song. We we was slow dance. Now niggas too sporty to dance. Let's go, bubble, bubble. 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 Watch your knees get weak. Get low. Watch your knees get weak. Get low. Watch your knees get weak. Now bubble, bubble, bubble. Get low. I go by Young Glory. I'm from Dade County. Oh man, I was I was doing that since like a shorty, you know. They had the little jams or whatever. I used to go out there, copy everybody's moves and stuff. It was cool. Like everybody battling, big circles in the front of the parties, DJs smacking, learned it, copied it, made moves with it, signature stuff. It was live. The dance culture is, is very strong still. If a person could come up with a dance and you know it's unique and it got the right rhythm to it, they'd catch on. The bubble walk when it popped off, it was my little dog, 2-5, DJ 2-5, you know, salute to him, man, because pretty much he the one that made the dance, you know, I'm the one that took it to the next level on a visual tip. We recorded a little video, we were wilding out in Walmart, did a couple of scenes, and it was like a movie, like, you got like 10,000 views within one day, and I'm like, dang, people really like it. Fam, you, they show crazy love. We did the show, the 
almost the whole campus got on the floor, started hitting the little moves and all that. So it was like, it was straight love. When I hit It's healthy, like dancing is movement and like, you know, keeps the blood going, keeps you flexing, going, make you feel young. It just keeps you live and updated with everything. You, know, you can be 30, 40, still doing your thing. Let me see you do the bubble. That's how I go. Let me see you do it now. Bubble, 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 bubble. Stop playing, girl. Let me see you do it. Get real low now. Turn around with the crew. Get the train. Let me see the train. Two, 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 two train. Shout out to who? Two, five. L-I-V-E. We in the booth, huh? Go. Bet you can't do it like me. 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 When I hit that scene, can't do it like me. Bet you can't do it like me. Bet you can't do it like me. Bet you can't do it like me. Music to me should take you somewhere. It should remind you of something. It should either make you tear up or make you happy. It should be, music should be joy to your ears. I'm just trying to make the fun to be like the new hustling anthem. I wanted to motivate you just to have that ambition to accomplish your goals, you feel me? So it's just for the average nine to five, man, that, that got that ambition to do what they gotta do to make sure they, hold, they household taken care of. Big Maul drop the top. Give them what they want, he ain't gon' rap them up, raw boy pop the trunk. Body bag ass nigga opposite of eye. Leave that boy stinking in the alley with the flies. Money mall dropped the check and the murder got dealt with. Ray Ben told me that boy had a death wish. Nine shots out the antique, got him six feet. Murder, 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 that blood bell so deep. Hey y'all on the block, play if you wanna. Y'all boys pussy hitting from the corner. We run down and stand over. Boy, use a goner. Use a goner. Boy, use a goner. <laughs> this is where gunplay was made at. Once I started just getting up off the porch, all the game that I picked up was from out here in Carroll City. I wasn't no academic nigga, just trying to get it on your own out here, man. You gotta, you gotta, you gotta be strong, dog. You gotta, you gotta know what you want. And that's what we all so dope for. You know what I'm saying? To have a better life, to, 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 to help your mom fix the roof. You know what I'm saying? When the water was leaking in and I had to put a fucking kiddie pool underneath that bitch and, and, and empty that bitch every 30 minutes when it was rain season, you know what I'm saying? And, and the cockroaches this big. And everybody was going to school and everybody had Jordans and shit, man. And I, ain't, I couldn't buy no Jordans, man. They mamas was buying them Jordans or 
Niggas was selling dope, getting dope shoes and shit like that. And I want to be dope too, man. <laughs> so I started doing my thing and uh, and I was one of them little dirty slab riding ass niggas, man, that always kept a bomb of cocaine and kept a bomb of weed. I, nigga, I just rap when I want to rap, dog. You know what I'm saying? I don't be sitting here and waking up freestyling and even though I'm supposed to do that, that's the key to success. It's as bad as you want to succeed, it's as bad as you want to breathe. I didn't give a fuck. When I got in a position of, 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 of power, I didn't even know I was in a position of power. I just was like, nigga, I got a bunch of money. I'm finna snort it up. I'm finna go fuck all the hoes I always wanted to fuck. And that's it, you know what I mean? And after all that was done, I was still sitting there like, damn, dog, I still feel hollow. You know what I'm saying? I still feel hollow. My partners, you know what I'm saying? They, you know, they still looking up to me like, dog, like, well, what's up? You know what I'm saying? And I'm like, nigga, smoke one, smoke more. Nigga, toot up, nigga, whatever. And you know, it took me a while to really realize the blessings that was bestowed upon me, man. And um, and once I once I realized it, it was um. It was a rap. Now, now, you know what I mean? I could be powerful in both arenas. The money arena and the real life arena. Step your game up. Learn to keep it 400, man. Halftime show. All my niggas be drumming, fam. What is we talking about? Rapping or is it practice? Because if we talking practice, you need it. Because you been lacking. I get yawn on the verse and niggas tell me I'm snapping. You put your heart in and then niggas tell you it's average. Just got a call with good news on the package. I confront the whole thing. Just scraping me on the back. Every week we rerun. Nigga knowing what's happening. Find a way out. My message to niggas trapping. Ball in the nighttime. Sharp with a tight grind. I hate to do it. I was born in the right mind. But y'all niggas. Niggas keep fucking around, you fuck around and get stuck in the ground. The only sound is niggas busting them rounds. You face first, nose touching the ground. I'm out of town, straight busting them down. If I could just change one person's life, you know what I'm saying? I could die tomorrow and won't give a fuck. I'll be happy, I'll live. I saw the world, I saw, you know what I'm saying? I might have seen as much as Jay-Z and, and all them, but to me, you know what I mean? I, I, I lived a full life. I just want to carry, past the baton on, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm a new nigga now. I'm a boss now. You know what I'm saying? Literally, in every sense of the word. I own my own business. I have employees. I got I got, I got, got my partners out here on the street. You know what I'm saying? And, 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 and we all trying to see the same thing. You know what I'm saying? We trying to get rich and trying to get the fuck up out of here and bring everybody else that's in here and get the fuck up out of here. This is where I learned everything at. This is where, this, this where the, this the stopping ground. You feel me? That third world, that third world where, where my parents come from and their parents come from, they, they, just, they left that place looking for something better. Everybody that came from the same place, they ended up in the same spot. Yeah. The greatest thing about Lil Haiti, I mean the, the culture, the food, the jitneys, the transportation, the everybody packed up in that bitch, whether it's hot or not, they just need to get where they need to go at. You feel me? The griot, the seasoning, everything we use, the music, the bands, you know. There's a lot of different stuff that separate Lil Haiti from and make it Lil Haiti. I feel like they, they putting up them little buildings, they trying to, they just cornering people in. Another five years, it might not be here, you feel me? That's why we nigga trying to hold on now. If, if somebody that's from here get something, go own something here, you feel me, it ain't gonna be that easy. Like, we gonna, this man gonna have his store, this corner store, this restaurant, this, that, you feel me? We gonna keep up. Just coming from Bahamas, you don't know you don't know what's hip, you don't know how to catch on to stuff, you feel me? You're gonna have to learn. I mean, you run into the um, African Americans, you know, y'all bump heads. You got them projects from, by the school where we was at, Large Mall Project. 
nothing but Americans, you know? And it was this little bridge a nigga couldn't cross. The shortcut was crossing that bridge, but if you wanted to cross that bridge, you had to get your ass kicked. So if you ain't want to walk the long way home, nigga like, man, fuck it, man. Nigga would rather get the ass kicked than walking the long way home. It, eventually, ass kicking don't mean nothing no more. Nigga got used to that. We start throwing them hands back. In the 80s, it was, it was a coup. Yeah. They, overthrew, they overthrew the government over there, and a lot of Haitians migrated. But then the government of the U.S., you know, they implemented the wet foot, dry foot policy. Yeah. And it favors Cubans, you know, the Hispanics, you feel me? And send the Haitians back. Like, yeah, it's nothing we can't overcome. But you know, the Haitians here are their hope. You feel me? Yeah. So that's why it's important for a young spook to make it. You feel me? You know, these days you hear a lot of Haitian and, and rap. You feel me? A lot of the artists, is, Zoe's this, my Zoe's that. that. Man, we, we got it, man. We got it. You know, it's a lot of Zoe's all over Miami. But Lil Haiti is the root. Yeah. It's the heart of it. This is where it all started. This where. This is where the seed of the Zoe hood right. was planted, you feel me? Other than that, we just be known as Haitians, you feel me? So the word Zoe is what gave us like that, some identity, you feel me? Mm -hmm. If they really educate themselves, you know, they'll find power in the name Zoe and Haitians, you know? I mean, the challenge really is up to you. It's up to you. It's, it's gonna take, like me, it's gonna take to you. When you wake up and you see the same shit every day, it's gonna be when you feel like, man, it's, man, I'm gonna do something about it. It's up to you. It's right there, the world is yours. And it took me a long time to understand that because everything in this world, you could you could do it, you feel me? It's up to you. Like, when, when are you going to get me? I woke up and seen the same shit every day and I was like, hell nah, man. This can't be me. For the cat, for the cat, for the cat, for the cat, for the cat. For ready boards, block stars, that's a whole lot of noise and extra holes in the filler. Bring them gold, bottle poison. You got five, not no poison. Let me sex my secretary. I just pull up on the set, fly dinner, pack a Fuck, hate no nothing. Fuck, they keep hate no nothing. Fuck, hate no nothing. Fuck, they keep hate no nothing. Fuck, hate no nothing. Fuck, they keep hate no nothing. Fuck, real niggas in my city don't need no introduction. I don't see them like Ray Charles. Got the load that they can't carry. Big dog nigga got the door that they can't bury. This my time and I can't spare it. They gon' act like they can't hear it. Got a nigga screaming out 12 hell Mary just to get saved, Mary. Watching most of my homeboy. Ain't trusting these hoes neither. Catch slipping when the game time. Keep tabs on you like gold keeper. Sunday morning, my penny loafing. Take it easy like old people. Me and Copper got it off the stove. Probably drop something, make it so ether. Black and white in that chin chiller. Still looking like an old zebra. 45 in that trench coat. Still blowing them cold heroes. Pour it out for them OG. Get twisted off old English. Still chin them foreign countries. Them Spanish bitches speaking no English. Rock stars in for ready boys. Hit South Beach for the cuss party. Got a stingray Corvette bitch and I push started. All white in my neighborhood. Shit, the president Bush started. We just passed the surface and now we know we gotta push harder. Bitch, my crib, big and Bush garden. Heard he came and give me several chances. Nightmare on my block, strapped up, two steps with the devil dancing. Roll the dice and he ain't never chancing. Don't look back cause he ain't never glancing. And I heard the street keep calling phone up, but he ain't never answered. We here. Ready boys, block stars, that's a whole lot of noise and extra holes in the filler. Bring the gold bottle poison. You got five, I'm no poison. Let me sex my secretary. I'm gonna pull up on the set, fly yeah. in the pack of Mary. Fuck. Hey, no nothing, fuck. They keep hey, no nothing, fuck. Hey, no nothing, fuck. They keep hey, no nothing, fuck. Hey, no nothing, fuck. They keep hey, no nothing, fuck. Real niggas in my city don't need no victim. Put it like this, man. I feel like we trapped. I can't sit around and tell my kids at the end of the day that, oh, you're gonna be able to have the same stuff or you're gonna be able to go to the heat games or you're gonna be able to afford the things that you want in life doing just, you know what I'm saying, what they tell you to do. You can't tell no young black brother these days that waking up going to school gonna help them when half of our brothers that did go to school ain't even getting they, you know, they just do. We gotta go through too much to even get what we want in life. 
do not spend the rest of most of your life inside of a jailhouse. Stay out of a jailhouse if, you, if, it's, if it's very possible for you to do, stay out. Because all that time that you're spending in, in jail, that's your life. You're, you're wasting your life and everything like that. So you stay out of jail. <laughs> that's the only thing I could tell them and everything like that. I tried not to hustle at times. I tried all that, but what you learn is that police gonna harass you. You know what I'm saying? They don't want you to have shit. You know what I'm saying? And what you gotta do is what you gotta do. It's just being honest. Help some of these little black boys learn how to do different shit instead of having to wake up every morning and, and worry about selling drugs just to be able to get something. Cause you know what I'm saying? That, that, it's just, I, I'm always gonna understand it. You know what I'm saying? Cause I've been out here. Saying we need more unity, man. You know what I'm saying? There shouldn't be a reason why you be in this neighborhood and the next neighborhood you go over, they beefing and you know what I'm saying? With this neighborhood, it shouldn't be none of that. You know what I'm saying? These boys don't even know what responsibility is, but they know what beef is. You know what I'm saying? And we ain't giving them enough opportunities to even get what a real responsibility is, you know? That's why I said, young blacks, know what's going on around you. Please do as important. Your life could depend on it. We need people to start hearing us, you know what I'm saying? Like, we just gotta do better, man. You feel me? Start teaching each other better and love each other, cause man, today, boy, time's getting worse about a minute, you know? Fuck it, the whole Miami, Florida, man. Everybody's suffering down here in some type of way. Shit just gotta get better. Thank you, bro.